Hey folks, what's going on? It's me, Paul again. Um, yeah, so <laughs> I did a thing today and um, I stopped off at the store at my one of my favorite nurseries in the area. And um, and if you know me, you know I love aloes. I mean, I, lo I love a lot of plants, but aloe have a special place in my heart. Anyway, they had this one aloe in a pot and it was the only one there. There was no price on the pot. And when I checked out the plant, I lifted it up and <laughs> there were absolutely no roots. It looks like this had some sort of root rot situation. And then either they just left it in the pot or somebody just stuck it in a pot. Anyway, I went up and I spoke to them and I just, uh, I just wanted to know what the deal was. So of course I got like uh, half off and I was able to save it, so I'm going to rescue this and get some roots out of it. In, um, and I'm gonna show you how to do that now. Um, I have two different methods to doing this. One method, which I do a lot of the time when I have smaller aloe, is I take the cutting and I put it in just a little bit of sphagnum moss, and, um, which is good because you wet it, you water it, and then it dries relatively quickly because it's a small amount. And you can see, I'll try to pull this out, there you go. You can see all the roots just wrapped all around the moss. And uh, so yeah, it rooted and there's a little, look at that little root in the middle. So yeah, it works really well. And, but for this aloe that I have here, it's too big. I mean, it's not too big to do that, but it's definitely, <laughs> it would be top heavy. So I'm gonna use lava rock this time, completely dry lava rock. Um, to set the stage before I even start anything, I just want to let you know what I did is I disinfected the tip. I washed it off really good. I disinfected it. And instead of using hydrogen peroxide this time, I used alcohol, rubbing alcohol. Um, I know that the aloes can handle it. So it dried up and, um, and all of this just happened today. And I know that I'm gonna get some roots out of the base of this, so I'm excited. To, uh, to see it develop. But anyway, I have my lava rock here. It's dry. This is pre-used. I've already used this for something else a while back, but uh, it's all dry. There's no, um, there's no moisture in here at all. It hasn't been watered. And I'm gonna leave it that way for about a week. And then after a week, I'll start to introduce a little bit of water. Um, but what I'm gonna do is cut a slit in the bottom of the, the cup that I'm gonna put it in, okay? And I'm going to add some of the lava. I want to make sure you guys can see what I'm doing. Add this lava rock. And then I'm going to place this in here. Just make sure that it's nice and... Can you see? Yeah. So that it's nice and steady. I'm going to pour the rest in. Ooh, there's some, some stuff still in here from the last last plant. I guess I didn't clean this out very well. But that's okay because this is not going to be sitting in water. There won't be a chance for any rot. And I've done this before, um, not just with lava rock, but also with Lekka. So, so here we go. So this is what we have. Very easy, right? Let me make sure it's all packed down. This already looks good, <laughs> even though it has no roots. Okay, so uh, what's gonna happen is, now that this has like the little slit on the side, this is the other cup that I'm gonna sit this under. I'm gonna water this when, uh, you know, after a week I'll water this, but I'm gonna let it all drain out. All the water is gonna drain out through that little slit that I cut in the bottom. And this way it'll stay hydrated, like damp and humid in here but not waterlogged. Um, I've seen a lot of my aloes that I do this to, they really, really love that humid uh, environment. It just sparks them to shoot out roots really quickly. So we'll be able to start to see roots around the, uh, around the sides of the cup. But again, I'm not leaving a reservoir. That's not the, the point of this. The point of this is just to put it in a, in a, in a position, in a place that will be steady, won't be, um, bothered very much by movement and will uh, keep the humidity up so that it'll encourage a root development. So that's really all there is to it. For now, I'll just put it in this cup. 
I will put this in bright indirect light. This was in a very bright, almost sunny location at the nursery, but I'm going to, um, I'm going to keep it just very bright, no direct sun. You can see that this has been like this for a while because all these leaves are curled, which shows and tells me that this has been dehydrated for a while. So this has not had roots for a while. It's been living off of its reserves, um, which is the whole point of succulents. You know, they live off of their reserves. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if some of the older leaves, like the bottom leaves, would shrivel up and dry up and, and die first. Um, because I'm going to wait another week before I water this. So, uh, yeah. So that's all there is to it. If you have an aloe that has no roots, you could definitely do this. It works every time for me. Very rarely have I ever had an issue. Um, the only time I did have an issue was when I didn't let it dry long enough and I put it in water. And I do have an aloe that's living in water for years now, but you have to do it the right way. You have to wait for that cut to heal, to callus over, um, and make sure that there's no rot showing on that cut end that you're letting heal. So for this one, it should do fine. I'm very excited to see. I will do a follow-up once we get some roots going. And uh, if you have any questions about aloe or how I root the cuttings, you can also do this if you take a cutting off of your plant. This was a cutting because the rest of the plant started to rot. It was in soil, which I don't like growing my succulents in soil. And, uh, and so I took the cutting. I let it dry for a while. It was just kind of like laying out for a couple of weeks. And then I just put it in here and like that. Presto, we've got roots. And it's starting to grow. These three leaves are new. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. But uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to do great. And if you have any questions about it, just reach out. We will discuss. Um, subscribe if you haven't. Like, share, comment. Hit that bell if you want to be notified. Ding! And I will see you in the next video.